put your gear and today I'm going to show you um, a sequence of exercises that are going to work pretty much all the muscles through your back, right down to your bottom, your hamstrings as well. It's also going to work your core because I'm going to use my bow suit today. Um, I'm going to use some uh, med balls as well. If you haven't got any med balls, then something quite light. My med balls are only one and a half kilos per hand. So something quite light if, you, if you're working at home. Okay, let's go. So first of all, you want to set yourself up. So you're quite high on your bow, see? So my tummy button's pretty much in the middle. My legs are out dead straight and scissored. And my toes tucked under. Alright, now I've warmed up already, so make sure you've warmed your muscles through before you do anything. And when I'm doing the actual exercise, I'm going to be looking down at the floor, which is what I need you to do. But whilst we're running through it, we'll just use one med ball and then we'll switch up to two. So get the legs out nice and straight, arms out nice and straight, and then lock your arms into the side of your head. And then all I want you to do is just squeeze up and come down. Squeeze up and come down. Okay, just run through that. It's exactly the same, just heavier. Lock those arms into the side of your head. Squeeze up and down. Squeeze up and down. Show you one more. Excellent. Just relax for a sec. Obviously, depending on how strong you are and how fit you are and how used to you are to doing it, depends on your reps. So just start low and build yourself up. Let's move those med balls around to the side. Same start position, just recheck your legs are in the right place, nice and straight. Bring those med balls out, turn on the sides of your shoulders. I want you to have your arms really straight on this one. You'll be looking down again. Your back and your head are going to stay in the same position this time, no movement there. This time you're just going to lift your arms up. So it feels to me like my arms are coming parallel to the floor, really nice and straight. So this is hitting my rear delts, so the area here can go a bit baggy. You sort of wonder if it's hanging over your bra, that's why. Straight up and down. And then to bring the core into that, lift them, keep them straight, bring them in front of you, back out to the side and back down. So just link those two exercises together. And you'll feel that as soon as you start moving your hands in front of you, you've really got to squeeze your tummy muscles. Seems a bit strange seeing as you're laying on them. Excellent. Take a little rest. The next one's going to hit the rhomboids more in the middle of the shoulder blades. So bring the balls in slightly closer and your elbows are going to be bent on this one. Drop the knees down as well this time. Bring those feet up. What you're going to do is squeeze your feet up into the air. At the same time, lift the elbows up and then squeeze your shoulder blades together. So you're trying to squeeze those shoulder blades as close together as you can. And then all the way back down to the floor with your hands and your knees. Squeeze and down. So again, this is hitting the rhomboids between the shoulder blades a lot more. It's really working further down my back as well, lower back, bringing the glutes in as well. Next part of the sequence, just knock it down to one med ball. Get your med ball between your feet. and bring yourself higher up onto your bow suit. Down onto your elbows this time. Don't be all scrunched up and be close. Have those elbows out. Start with your legs straight, feet on the floor, and then just lift up so your legs become parallel to the floor. So obviously the strength, the muscle to get those legs moving, is obviously in your glutes, but this is really, really good for your lower back. In fact, I can feel it working all the way through to my shoulder blades. Touch down as well. Keep those legs dead straight. Don't bend those legs. Link onto that. 
isolation of your hamstrings so lift curl in back to straight and down curl in just keep those glutes really tight the whole time excellent a few more just with straight legs When you're done with your sequence, get your knees on your mat and push yourself right back. It's really, really stretch through the lower back. So as I said, whilst we're working, how many you put together, that's really sort of up to you. And just treat it as a sequence or just do three sets of each one individually. Have a little stretch like this and then move on to the next one. Great, see you soon. If you like the videos that we're doing, please remember to subscribe to our channel on YouTube. I'll see you soon. Bye.